So this new trailer came out for this Detective Pikachu movie, and honestly, I did not expect anything like this. Um, I had heard this movie was coming out. I had heard Ryan Reynolds was going to be voicing Pikachu in like a Detective Pikachu movie. Uh, I thought it was a little weird that they were choosing Detective Pikachu to make like a Pokemon movie off of, but I really thought it was going to be at least similar to all the anime Pokemon movies that have like come out in theaters and stuff. I did not expect it to be um, this what it looks like this live action. Pokemon movie. I I guess I really just didn't look into it. Um, maybe it was said it was going to be live action, but in my mind, I was thinking it was going to be like, I don't know, more CGI or more like like Pixar looking CGI than um, what they did, which is like realistic looking Pokemon. This is very much so different than I thought we'd ever get with a Pokemon movie. So I'm really not sure how I feel about this one. Um, I, when I watched the trailer again, I was just so shocked by it. I was kind of just like, wait, really? This is this is the movie they're going to be making? Um, but there's some things I like about it and some things I don't like about it. When I first saw it, the, like the initial shot is like a kind of dingy street scene. And I was like, oh man, did they not learn from the Mario Brothers movie? I mean, there have been so many terrible video game movies and I've always been waiting for them to kind of come out with one that finally breaks the mold and like all of a sudden you know video game movies will be the next uh, superhero movies because like superhero movies were kind of hokey and cheesy a couple okay ones here and there for years and then um, a couple good ones came out and all of a sudden it you know now we have nothing but superhero movies is like um, you know half the mo big movies that come out every year and so I've been waiting for video games to do the same and there's been a few that like you know, there was talked about like, oh, this is going to be it. This is going to be the one. And I don't know. They just never really break the mold. There's some okay video game movies. You know, I'm not saying they're all bad, but generally none of them have been like a huge blockbuster mega hit. Um, and some of them have been really, really bad. Uh, and Nintendo specifically, like they did the Mario Brothers movie way back when. And, uh, you know, they basically stepped away from doing any kind of films after that, which I think, you know, I, I understand why they did that. The Mario Brothers movie had so much wrong with it. I'm not just going to talk about that the whole time here, but um, it's cool to see a Nintendo character, you know, IP product, whatever you want to call it. I know Pokemon's technically Game Freaks, but, you know, it's Nintendo owned, um, you know, getting a movie finally, getting a live action uh, big name movie. And it's interesting they chose Detective Pikachu and didn't just make like I don't know, um, standard Pokemon story, like about a Pokemon trainer, but I'm super happy to see that it does appear to be set in the Pokemon universe. That's one thing that's like, has me actually excited about this one. That's pretty much the biggest thing I think this movie has going in its favor and actually has me tentatively excited about it is that it does appear to be set in the Pokemon universe. This is not like, I mean, they do this so much, this cliche thing where they have like, oh man, the Pokemon came out of the game and now they're in the real world. And it's like, it's so cliche, it's so stupid. And thankfully that's not the route they're going with. This is actually just Pokemon are real and the, the world is, you know, Kanto and Sinnoh. And honestly, another cool thing is they have, you know, a lot more Pokemon than the original ones and I'm I'm kind of a Gen 1 or I'm more of a like Gen 1 Gen 2 -er because I feel like anybody who grew up in the West um, you know by the time we got Pokemon Gen 2 was already in the works and there's so many uh uh, normie fans um, who like I can show like Don Fan or Meryl or Togepi um, too and they'll be like oh yeah I think that's a gen that's a, that's part of the 150 that's part of the original ones and it's like no it's it was gen 2 but you know by the time we got gen 1 gen 2 was in the works and they were always kind of trickling over um, the first episode of the Pokemon anime has Ho-Oh in it for instance so I consider gen 1 and gen 2 to be like the original core ones and again I'm a bit of a you know gen 1-er in that sense that I have nostalgia for those old Pokemon um but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it's pretty cool that they seem to have, again, the Pokemon universe and they're branching outside of just those original Pokemon. So, you know, it's not like I said, a Pokemon game where it's like, oh man, the Pokemon have come to life and are in the real world. Now this is like actually set in that world. It's actually going to be the Detective Pikachu story. And it's going to be really cool to just see live on screen um, stuff like Pokemon centers and gyms and, um, you know, just uh, trainers and breeders and, uh, you know, all these different Pokemon people. People. It's just going to be really cool to see that, um, you know, live action. I'm also pretty happy with the actors they got. Um, I know people wanted Danny DeVito to voice Pikachu, which I... I'm right there with you guys. I think that would have been great. Um, but Ryan Reynolds is funny. Uh, I like Deadpool and stuff. You know, he's he has good comedic timing and stuff. And it does appear Pikachu is going to be uh, part of probably a lot of the jokes in this and stuff. So I, I am excited to see that. Um, Ken Watanabe is a really good actor. I always like everything he's in. So I'm happy to see his face in here too. Um, so yeah, I mean, I do think this one has uh, at least a, those two people pretty strong cast. I don't really know about anybody else in the movie. 
As for the Pokemon themselves, this is probably the strangest thing. So while I said, you know, when I pictured this movie, when I just sort of kind of heard about it and wasn't really paying attention to it, um, I pictured it as like a Pixar, you know, CGI type movie. And I at least pictured the Pokemon would be like that. I thought even if it was some sort of live action movie, the Pokemon themselves would still be, um, you know, kind of the way we see them in the games, maybe slightly better renders, but they'd look like that. But instead they went the route of making them look realistic. Um, so I said before, I'm really happy that they did more than just the first 150. There's a lot. Actually, if you look through the trailer, there's a ton of Pokemon like hidden within this, and that's going to be really fun uh, with how many Pokemon there are these days and just all the things they can do with that. It's going to be really fun to see how many Pokemon they really put in this thing. Um, but that aside, some of the designs of the Pokemon with this new realistic look, I'm not so sure about. Other ones, I like. Um, so, you know, not knowing exactly how all the Pokemon are going to be portrayed, because because it's like, you know, a new way to do it. Um, I can't say 100% if I'm going to like the Pokemon or not like the Pokemon. Because again, some of them I like the look of. Some of them I don't so much. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see what they do with everybody. Uh, I guess they got this guy, RJ Palmer. Um, I think his Twitter is at Arvalis or something like that. Um, he... I don't know if he did all the designs or if he just worked on it partially or whatever, but he's one of those people who does like those drawings. Um, I see him on Facebook all the time. People like will share this where it's like realistic Pokemon and it's, it's not always his stuff. Like a ton of artists have done realistic depictions of Pokemon, but I guess this guy does some and he, you know, was hired to do part of this movie's designs. Um, he seems to have toned it back from the way that he draws them. When he draws them realistic, it's usually you know, pretty different than the standard designs. This looks like a kind of mixture that's more leaning towards their official designs, which is a good thing. I wouldn't want them to totally change things up. Um, again, the Mario Brothers movie, when he changed things way too much from the source material, it can just ruin it. So I don't know how much I feel about, you know, how I feel about these Pokemon designs being more realistic, but again, I am really happy it's set in the Pokemon universe. So even if the designs are this realistic look, uh, you know, if the Pokemon have the attributes and the world has the characteristics of the Pokemon universe, I, I think this could be good and this might again break the mold for uh video game movies pokemon's huge pokemon go just exploded a couple of years ago um and i think that maybe got this movie in in the works kind of um you know i don't know about directly but i feel like I don't know, so many of, specifically Nintendo's IPs, but, um, you know, Pokemon itself is also like this. They kind of, like, they don't branch out. They kind of stick to what they know, and they don't want to, like, take risks with things too much. Um, Nintendo's starting to. I guess there's a Mario Brothers movie in the works. Uh, supposedly there's going to be some sort of Nintendo theme park. I think it's with Universal that they're doing that. And now Pokemon's getting a live-action movie, and I think Pokemon Go might have helped that. It was kind of their first branch into, like, oh, what would, like, a, a mobile game possibly do? And it exploded. So, um, I feel this could have the same effect if, you know, a bunch of, there's a bunch of people out there that aren't like hardcore gamers that really pay attention to like modern Pokemon, but if you do something like a mobile game or a movie, you know, they'll hear about that and you might have tons of people going to this. And if the movie's pretty decent, um, it could open up for like, oh man, that movie made a ton of money. Let's make more, uh, you know, video game themed movies. This might be the one to break the mold. With that Mario Brothers movie from Illuminations in the works, and supposedly a, uh, a Zelda uh, cartoon show Netflix series possibly made by the same people who did the Castlevania Netflix show, which I still haven't watched, actually. I really need to get on that. I've heard it's really great, though. Um, you know, I have my fingers crossed for a good Zelda show. That would be amazing. I would love to redo this thing and redo this thing, get better Mario, better Zelda stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a big movie fan. Like, I actually, the first time I got into like gaming as any kind of career thing or I don't know if I'd say career but uh you know something I was getting paid to do with gaming it was actually because I was working at a Hollywood video which was also like a game crazy um Hollywood video if you don't know what it is was like a blockbuster before movie rental stores went out I worked there a few years back um because I'm super into movies and stuff and I've, I've used to film movies back in high school with my friends and stuff I've actually been in a movie before um so yeah I mean I'm a huge fan of movies and I would love for you know gaming and movies to finally like work out here so with all that stuff in the works oh also the sonic movie um with jim carrey as dr robotnik like that would be sweet that would be so cool if those movies were all good i have i have no idea um you know what's gonna happen with the zelda possible netflix series the mario illuminations movie or the sonic movie or this detective pikachu movie but very hopeful that one of these really um does well and you know, hopefully sets a tone for a bunch more to do well. The same way that those, like, comic book movies and superhero movies started coming out. Um, I, I would love that. So, uh, here's to hoping. So, once again, 
Thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.